Hi everyone, I am Marissa McNicholas and I'm from the University of Illinois Sigma Alpha. Um, today we're going to be talking about candy canes. So I don't know about you, but during the winter time, I love a good candy cane. You get your peppermint, you get your sweet. So today we're going to go a little bit into more of the origination of candy canes, how they're made, and some fun facts that you can share with other people. So first, where did candy canes actually come from? So candy canes were made first in the 17th century. So they actually weren't even a winter type snack at all. It was actually used by a choir master to keep younger children quiet during the services in their church. It was around 1900 that the first red and white candy canes were actually made. In the beginning, as you can see on the left, they were just white straight candy sticks that were just pepperminty and people liked to eat. Candy canes were also made by hand all the way up until 1921. In 1921, there was technology to no longer make them by hand, but that doesn't mean that you still might not be getting a handmade candy cane. Especially at places like Disney World, I know for a fact that you can go and get your own handmade candy cane and you might even get to watch them make it. So you might be thinking, how are candy canes actually made? Should they create with sugar, water, and corn syrup? and then they're cooked at a piping hot 313 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes around two hours for them to cook even at that temperature. And then the sugar is traditionally spread on a hook to create the traditional J shape of the candy cane. This necessarily isn't the only way to do it, however, and it might be hand shaped, as we'll see in my candy cane time lapse. So the colors can be twisted or tied into the white sugar. It kind of depends on the preference of the candy maker, but both ways will work and give you your traditional candy cane that we know and love. So next, we're gonna watch this candy cane time-lapse of how you can make your own candy canes at home. So here we go. Sugar, corn syrup, and water. As you can see, they have the half red, half white. So they're gonna use two colors. And then they just keep bending and twisting to get the sugar malleable and movable to twist. And as you can see, they come out to the candy canes we know and love. So it's extremely simple to make at home actually. And they're very good desserts for holiday parties or just to eat by yourself. So last, we have some fun facts about candy canes. So over 1.7 billion candy canes are made worldwide each year. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I could ever eat 1.7 billion candy canes in my lifetime. It's insane that they're made that many each year. The world's largest candy cane was created in 2012, so just eight years ago, and was 51 feet long. This was in Geneva, Illinois, so actually in our home state, so that's pretty exciting. And then lastly, December 26th is National Candy Cane Day. So if you were ever thinking about having a candy cane party or celebrating candy canes, definitely do it on the 26th. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you learned something new about candy canes, maybe how they're made, where they came from, or a fun fact to share with other people. And I hope that you have a great holiday season and thank you so much for your time.